Hello everyone, how you all are doing? I think you all are doing just fine and living your life. And this is a very great time to heal and reflect and go within and spend some quality time with your loved ones at your home. Because we've been given such a great um, opportunity. Uh, why I am saying this is because we have to look at the positive side of everything right that's why don't think um, very negative about all the things that are going on in the world because um, you might not realize it's all happening for the highest good actually and it's all going to work out um, I'm saying this because I got a channeled message about this and I posted the same on my community board if you've not read that please uh, visit my community board and check that post so uh, this is um, actually I wasn't getting much time because I'm not at my home I we are forced to stay at my granddad's home and I don't think that uh, uh, it's it's uh, anything imposed because uh, he isn't well and uh, i am glad that uh, we are here to take care of him so that's the thing and i wasn't getting much time to record anything or post anything on my community board as well that's why uh, i took my time and uh, i received few messages few updates about our divine connections yesterday so i recorded recorded them in my notebook and now i'm going to relate to all of you so it's an important channel message and i want you to be patient with me it's not going to take much longer i request you to ignore all the background noises you're hearing because it's a household and i cannot control what other people are doing i have to actually i came in another room to record this message so you might hear things here and there just ignore it and please don't bring it into the please don't bring it in the comment section because we expect uh, some basic common sense from each other right so don't don't uh, bring anything about the background noises i can i cannot help it i'm sorry if my voice is a little bit down but i cannot speak much louder okay so we'll start with it for those who are um, fully aware that you are in a twin flame connection this message these messages actually are for you and for those who are still doubtful these messages will intuitively make you um, clear, clear your doubts and these messages will clear your doubts on your connection with your person with the person on your mind okay so a very clear message that source wants to give the source wants to give you is that if you had a deep awakening experience with your one and only twin that you know is your twin by now there is a marriage ceremony coming in for both of you coming up for both of you and you both are going to get married with each other okay this marriage and your union or reunion with your person is going to happen according to divine order and by divine will you understand that your person that is your masculine counterpart has already chosen you or will be choosing you by divine will okay so if at the moment you are experiencing or clearing karmic situations in your life related with your connection or related to your own personal life and just know that ultimately and eventually he or she is going to choose you and accept you as their beloved husband or wife okay and 
you will have a lawful marriage ceremony with your person and if you dream of or if you hope of having a full traditional marriage that's what's going to happen with you okay for you i should say the marriage ceremony will be divinely blessed and you will share very beautiful and memorable memorable events and experiences with your person that you will always cherish in your heart okay your person will show you that they have realized that you are their perfect match and it's all because of source that you both are coming together now or will be coming together later by the time you will also come to full realization that you cannot be with anyone else except your twin you can't even imagine being in marriage or in or in a relationship with anyone else except your twin your inner your inner being is going to completely reject the thoughts of being with someone else okay these are the points that are going to click you uh, that are going to click your intuition okay so that's how you're going to come to that realization that your twin is the only person you want to spend the rest of your life with and your twin will also realize this once you come to this conclusion you will come to know that your connection was always divinely guided supported promoted and protected and so does your relationship and marriage will be with your person if you continue to follow divine guidance and work on the necessary areas of your life okay so when your union or reunion will be coming near or will be on the horizon for you you both will come to you both will learn and you both will come to full unconditional acceptance of each other okay your person will fully accept you for who and what you are and you will accept your person for who and what they are leaving all the past baggage and hurt behind all the resentment and anger and everything that is negative is going to get left behind in the past only you cannot drag it source isn't going to let that happen even if you um even if something comes up it isn't going to um create much impact <coughs> i'm sorry that so the next thing that is very important is that a time will come when you will get a chance to tell your love story to each and every one around you at least a group of people and many people will get inspired by listening to your story and how you overcame everything that was meant to separate both of you your story and the experiences you've endured will sow a seed of divine faith in the inner beings of people who will listen to you and are going to come across you as per the divine order and plan and it will kick start their awakening process and their intuition which they would have or which they would be ignoring or neglecting till the time you will meet them or you will come across them okay so your story will inspire them to explore and connect with their own spirituality <coughs> sorry for that please excuse me just a second <coughs> so your story will inspire them to explore and connect with their own spirituality in completely unseen ways and in ways one one cannot expect and that's how you will help in fulfilling the purpose of your connection in your life okay 
it's because every twin flame connection and every divine soulmate connection is meant is meant to and is supposed to touch the hearts of hundreds and thousands of people if not in millions because of that everywhere you will go you will always have divine support and protection over and around you because you are one of those important people that are going to bring a lot of positive changes in our world in our society in our culture in our countries and in our cities you know so by the time when your marriage ceremony would come closer you both will fully realize that love is all what is needed and love is the solution to each and every thing no matter who you are and where you live whether you are rich or poor you can have every luxury in the world but if you don't have the one you love by your side you will always feel empty within your heart even if you don't have any resources or facilities but you've got the one you love and the one who loves you you will always acquire the strength to weather all the storms that come in your life and you will see that just a second i missed one line so the, the message was that no matter who you are even if you don't have anything but you have the one that is chosen for you you will get the strength to go through everything in your life and you will overcome it you see and you will also see in your life later on once your <clears throat> reunion on reunion or marriage comes closer that your person will become more humble and their perspective towards life will be completely new and refreshing okay because of that your person will drop their guard and so will you you both will allow each other to give access to your hearts without any fear because of all these trials and turbulations that you're going through at the moment or will be going through during the phase of karmic clearing it happens and it's kind of common that people uh, become reserved to protect themselves from getting hurt but when it comes to twins and i should say if somebody is not a twin they can learn that that when you come together with the one that is chosen for you your fears automatically get dissolved okay and that's what's going to happen when you both will come together it will dissolve your fears of getting hurt by your person and these fears will start to eventually fade away day by day because the distance between you when you are um, living when you will be living together or uh, when you get opportunities or when you get opportunity opportunity to meet your person or spend some quality time the distance between you even if it's uh, emotional di distance it's going to bother you okay it's going to bother you a lot and that's why your own inner being will inspire you to make changes in your life during the initial days of your your union or reunion or marriage you will be really hesitant to open up to your person just a second i have to uh, cut the recording here so i was talking about that uh, during the initial days of your reunion or marriage 
you will be really hesitant to open up to your person and so will he and vice versa so in such times um, your own love language in your connection is going to develop or will start to develop slowly and you both will start to understand each other even if you don't use words to express what you want to say okay even if you can't express your um, thoughts feelings and emotions using words but your eyes your expressions and your gestures and your body language will do all the all the work for your conversation to happen with your person also your telepathic communication is going to become very very strong during such time your masculine counterpart will show you that they are a changed person and they will have a changed behavior and attitude towards you and his new perspective and outlook on life which is going to be inspired by the love you to share that will really help you regain your faith and trust on your person and you will allow yourself to open up with your person better than before because fear of getting hurt or getting left out is still prevalent in your hearts in both of your hearts it's it's still prevalent in your person's heart as well and you need to understand that okay so it needs to be worked upon and it's it needs to be healed and released but what i am being shown is that you will come out of that you will regain trust and faith on your person and eventually you both will get comfortable and whatever little bit issues or things that are going to come up are going to get resolved and you don't have to worry about anything much so this fear is the fear that is uh, being highlighted here is that it's about getting into the unknown and becoming vulnerable vulnerable my tongue twists a lot these days so this fear is about getting into the unknown and becoming really vulnerable of getting hurt by your person actually it's about being in that situation where you think that you are very vulnerable to get hurt where you feel like or where you will feel like you are going to get terribly hurt by your person and you won't be able to recover from that and you won't be able to stop that or avoid that because you will be living with your person but the thing is that you don't know that your person has same fears and insecurities as you do okay so it's not happening with it's not going to happen with you only or from your side it might happen from his side too and you need to be understanding towards that okay so keep that in mind it's kind of real that if you get hurt it has the capacity capacity to break you completely but if you let that happen then only it's going to happen what i mean to say is that don't let fear take control of you okay you need to keep the strength you kept the strength for so long for so long so why do you think that you won't be able to hold yourself up when you will when you will really be with your person you see that's the thing that's the thing <clears throat> so you may try to express how you feel to your person regarding your fears and doubts about your relationship and your connection and i want you to know that they will surely listen to you and they will acknowledge everything that you 
would have to say to them because deep down they also fear that you are going to hurt them as they did to you in the past that's the fear they are having or they will be having i should say they have that fear at the moment so both of you will be having fears around security of your connection and about uh, other people that do not want to see you together it could be family members as well but what source wants you to know is that if source has been working behind the scenes when you are not together just imagine just imagine how much support and protection you are going to get when you are together i think you are smart enough to understand that right so both of you will be um, no what what's this so yeah you don't have to worry about those things because your love and the chemistry that is there between you is going to take over all those fears and they won't be able to affect you much longer as long as you don't indulge in those negative feelings and you don't let that affect your energy and your mindset is that clear your person is already very very passionate or will be very very passionate towards you and uh, it's going to continue even after your marriage happens so the way he is going to look at you is going to make your day and i want you to uh, cherish that because these small things are very important that makes a relationship even more beautiful these littlest smallest things like opening a door and giving a glass of water now remembering the time you have to take your medicines if you are on medication these little small things picking a picking up a dress for you or taking out a dress from your wardrobe when you're taking a bath these small little things okay <clears throat> <clears throat> your person can you know really stare at you or look at you for hours for hours and once you reunite or i should say that um, after your reunion you'll start to you will become a completely different person as you are living your life right now it will be a completely different life i am I'm, I'm, i'm not trying to say that you will become completely different person i'm just trying to say that your life will change in ways that you cannot imagine right now and you cannot expect right now because you've been through so much for so long once you get to live those moments with your person when and where your person will be around you those days and those moments will be completely different and you will start to glow differently your inner child will glow like never before you will laugh and play like you like you are just a small child and your person will feel immense joy by seeing you that way by seeing you in such a playful and happy energy and the way you will be living your life spending your days with them so your person will tell you how much they missed you when you both were apart and how much they prayed for you both to come together and how many times he prayed to god that please make this woman my wife all this will really really bring you both all this will really bring both of you close to each other and you will express that 
and you will also express that when you what you were doing in separation i mean you were in separation you never felt like you were separated with your person and you felt like you were always one with them you could not forget about your person for a, even for a minute okay so these are the things that source wanted you to know i am not making these videos much long because uh, because of a lot of things okay so that's not important so these are the messages and i hope you take these messages in good spirit and use it to your full advantage you are being offered divine guidance through people like me and many others on youtube so um, just be thankful to god that uh, you are so blessed and you are so supported by source and um, i just wish that our community remains like this for a very long period of time okay so i'll take leave thank you so much for listening bye bye